Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Generals, um, for being here. I'm going to I'm going to follow up with um, Senator Kelly's line of questioning and going back a little bit to Senator Fisher's with regard to ISR. Now that we're getting a little more specific, uh, and I'll try to you know avoid having to get into to secrets, but. You mentioned in your in your opening statement, General Carrillo, that that, um, that the continued threat from Afghanistan. Have you had to divert ISR from Afghanistan or from anywhere else to cover other areas? Uh, I mean, remember Afghanistan was to be protected by over the horizon. I mean, I just I worry that we're so thin. So, so give me some specifics about diversion of ISR providing gaps. So every day, Senator, I have to provide. I have to determine where the risk is, and I have to move intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance assets around, just like I do with my defensive counter-air fighters. And the only places I was being shot at at the time were Iraq and Syria and in the Red Sea. So for a period of time, I did divert um, ISR out of Afghanistan um, to be able to cover down on those areas that are most critical. I do know that when Iranian aligned militia groups or Houthis are out and they're trying to launch UAVs, rockets, missiles, um, that when we have ISR over the time, that is a deterrent effect. Mm -hmm. um, so we do need, and this is something that I do think we need to continue to fund as additional capabilities. And I worry about that because we're going just the opposite direction. I mean, we're retiring particularly unmanned systems at a very fast rate and not, you know, not building more of them nearly fast enough. And I worry that we're leaving a lot of really expensive assets out there unprotected, that survivability of... Uh, of the sea fleet in some cases, the carrier fleet, the, uh, as well as the you know the men and women on the ground. Um, with regard to Africom, General Langley, now the MQ9 Reaper, MQ9A Reaper is pretty important in your your role. Can you just maybe elaborate a little bit on the importance of that system? Again, it, um, in comparison to the MQ1, uh, it just has uh, more 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 on station time, and let's put it that way, uh, exponentially. And, uh, you know, given the tyranny of distance, especially across the Sahel, and even in East, East Africa, is uh, that platform is uh, in dire need. Uh, so to continue uh, with that, understand that there's going to be a transition coming up. So we need other, uh, other type capabilities that are equivalent or even more, given the emergent uh, threat that we have uh, across Africa. What you just said is really, really important, that... that the best we have is older maybe than the threat requires, and we ought to continually be developing more modern, um, more, more um, durable perhaps, more sustainable, um, more lethal as well as, as um, covert. Uh, maybe in, a, in, a, in the later session we'll, we can talk more specifically about potential um, solutions to that. With that, that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you very much.